You see it. You see it. This unit ain't going nowhere. This crazy tube super lace wig glue is official. We're going to get into an awesome video. Natalie Mayer here. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Be sure to subscribe by the end so that you can stay up to date on every new video that I post. I've been doing a lot of wedding related videos. I have lifestyle videos, vlogs, hair stuff, like this awesome hair that we're about to get into in a moment. You guys are going to love this. So be sure to subscribe. Her Given Hair has done it again. Do y'all see all of this? Do you see it? Look how big and voluminous this hair is. I have found my wedding hair, y'all. The search is over. I love how natural, how big and voluminous this unit is. And I'm gonna show you guys how I secured it without using got to be glue this time, but actual wig glue, because we are trying to make sure this unit doesn't go anywhere for my wedding. This is the kinky blowout texture, and I believe I got it in length 18. I don't want it extremely long. We're gonna see what it looks like. I'm excited to see my wedding hair. Feels awesome. So inside every package that Her Given Hair sends out now, well the wig packages, they provide an elastic band, some additional combs, and also some clips. So, <laughs> just taking the, the little net off, Guys, this hair feels and looks so, so good. It looks really, really natural. Look at all that volume. Can y'all see that? So right now, I just have my hair pinned down. And for those who are new to my channel, I do have a tapered cut. I did it myself. And it really comes in handy when wearing wigs because I don't have to braid my hair anymore. I just merely use body pins to flatten it. And I just tried to pull it as much as I could and just pin it down so it's out of the way. Now, let's get into this unit. Yeah, so it does have combs, two combs on the side and one at the bottom. I think I may add a comb here and here just to ensure that the unit is ready to go when I want to put it up. I think that will really help if I sewed on two combs here so I may do that now this is transparent lace so you don't have the little black dots that you naturally see on most units they are transparent so you could actually use the alternative method and it worked very well with this particular unit so this is the Sally Hansen airbrush legs and this is supposed to act as a alternative method to bleaching knots that's the method that I'm going to use today to show you guys how it works on my kinky blowout unit and I hope it turns out really well because I'm looking forward to wearing this unit for my wedding. The cap size that I ordered is size small and the size small usually fits me very well. I love how they already have little baby hair and they're not super pronounced. They're not really long. It looks really good. And this hairline looks so natural. I can't wait to put this on my head. And the back does have some lace. There are some crinkles in the hair, I guess from how it was stored in the package. Let's see if I can try to get those out by maybe spraying some water.
so I just finished prepping my unit so I am going to begin installing I've already begun the stocking cap method but I think I kind of did I did it wrong so I applied the yellow got to be glue I don't know what I was thinking I should have used the black because it's clear the yellow kind of gives this little pasty look that I don't like but hopefully this install still turns out well. So, so right now I'm going to cut the excess stocking cap just around my hairline and I'm going to try to get as close as possible. I'm going to lay down the areas that are kind of peeling back some with the black bottle of the gossipy glue. I will find the light in your soul. I'll be there. I'll be there. Never leaving you in the darkness. Even when you're out of focus. I will be the light. For this particular install, I am going to actually use wig glue. I have never used wig glue before. So I'm really hoping that it turns out nicely. This is Crazy Hold and this is the super lace glue for lace wigs. It's 100% waterproof, invisible, and it's for extended wear. Now, um, I'm nervous about this. <laughs> this is gonna be my first time. I'm deciding to actually try this out because I plan to wear this wig for my wedding and I wanna make sure if I'm sweating, maybe if I'm dancing or, you know, I don't know. I'll probably have this unit on for a few days after my wedding and so I want to make sure that it's very secure and I don't have to worry about any lifting with the lace or anything. So I want to test it out and we're going to see how it turns out. So I bought this from the beauty supply store and also this remover and this is BMB. I guess that's the name of the brand. I know a lot of girls rave about uh, Bold Hold but they didn't have that at my beauty supply store so I went for this one and the person that was there said it works well so we're gonna see and then I have this lace glue remover it's by the same brand and this is what it looks like this process is very similar to the got to be glue method that I've shown several times on my channel but this is just gonna really help with longevity this particular kit also comes with a wooden stick and this little brush that can be used on the side which is handy dandy and it does suggest that when applying the glue that you place it on the stick and then apply it to your head it also suggests that you wipe around the area that the glue is going to be applied with alcohol i don't even know if i want to clean this area because then it's going to mess up my makeup so i'm going to try it without having cleaned the area off to see how well it works. I feel like I'm about to put super glue on my hairline. Luckily, I did protect my hairline with the stocking cap. That's why I like that method, because it doesn't get on your edges. Now, let me make sure I've read the instructions. So it says, cleanse skin with alcohol to remove all dirt and oils. Use the applicator nozzle tip with the brush and wooden stick to apply a thin coat of glue on the hairline evenly. Make sure the glue is dry before applying an additional coat for strength. When the glue is still sticky, apply the lace wig on the hairline and press for one minute or until firmly in place. Wait 15 minutes before you begin to style. So let's see how this goes, guys. into the lace using my the back of my rat tail comb I don't think I put enough over here let me put some more right here 
snatched the edges. Hopefully not snatch them out. <laughs> when it says crazy hole, this adhesive is crazy. It's straight up logo. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I have some areas that have some white residue. I don't know if you can see it. Not too much, but there are some areas. I'm just gonna comb back this little area and I'm gonna spray some aloe vera juice. much this cost I don't even think this was super expensive either when I looked online for that bond glue it was kind of pricey let me see it was only $5.99 at my local beauty supply store $5.99 and the remover is $2.99 I am very impressed this Sally Hansen did a good job on my lace and this crazy hole tube super lace glue listen it's pretty awesome so I'm gonna wrap my elastic band that came in the little baggie with the her given hair unit and I'm gonna do it as tight as I can so I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes I feel like I have this jasmine brown look going. Her natural hair looks like this. She haven't had some brown tips, but it was kind of doing this little number. And one of her photos on Instagram, she has gorgeous hair, but you can get the same look. The kinky blowout girl. So I just added some lashes and I also put on some different earrings and a bracelet to kind of help with this awesome look. All right, so let's see how our hair is doing now. It's been about 15 minutes, probably longer than 15 minutes because I was talking to my sister. I'm gonna take the elastic band off. I love this look so much. So I found my wedding hair. I am absolutely gonna be wearing this unit and I'll show you guys what the parting looks like. This is what it looks like with the middle part. Wow. It looks like it grew out of my scalp. Can you all imagine what this is gonna look like with the wand curls? It's gonna be so gorgeous for my wedding. But I feel like if I were to even wear it like this, it would be fabulous. This hair makes me happy. So you can wear a middle part, and I think it would look cute if I did some braids. Like a right here, a right here. I think for my next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys some styles with it. <laughs> all right guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video where I showed you guys how I actually use Crazy Tube Super Lace Glue. This isn't the bold hold, it's less expensive, but it is so effective. This hold on this unit is like amazing. It's not going anywhere. It literally feels like it grew out of my scalp and it looks that way it looks so extremely natural i cannot get over how amazing this unit looks and how well the lace just melted into my scalp it's gorgeous. i hope that you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe share this video with a friend and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>